do you see what I see? Oh, oh my. Right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for the witness. This know also that in the last days, mm. perilous times shall come. Shall come. Mm -hmm. yes. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Watch it now. Covetous, yes. boast, boast, pride, mm -hmm. blaspheme, mm -hmm. disobedient to parents, uh -oh. unthankful, oh my. unholy, oh, without natural affection, truth breakers. False accusers, oh, <laughs> impotent, fierce despiser of those that are good, mm -hmm. treacherous, hearty, hot minded, oh, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. God is a God of love, having keepers, a form of godliness. But denying the power thereof, the for thing. such shall turn away. Mm. Bible declares in the book of Acts, after that, that the Holy Ghost have come upon you, uh -huh. you shall receive power. We're living in a season now that there is no power in the church. All right. Because of a form of of godliness. Let's see what well, I see. We cuss all week long. Oh. And then on Sunday morning, we are holy oh. rollers. Oh. We beat each other to the church and we dropped it like it's hot on Saturday night. Oh. Yes, running down the pole. Flipping and bouncing, and then we come and send God a strange sacrifice. Hallelujah. Not realizing that God is a holy God, and if it wasn't for his mercy and his grace, he would have dropped you right on the spot. The Bible declares, present your body a living sacrifice. Holy and Acceptable unto God is your reasonable service. It is not a choice. It is not an option. It is your reasonable service. Present this body unto God. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. We satisfy our flesh more than we do God. Let me get back to the book of Timothy. Who wrote the book of Timothy? Second Timothy the by the time Paul wrote his second letter to Timothy, the young pastor had been ministering to the church at Ephesus for four years. And we can't have you in church for one year. And it has been almost that long since he has received his first letter from Paul. You get mad if we don't pop you on the head. You leave the church with all your demons and go to another church getting ugly over there with more demons. And then you got to come back where you first started and your leader have to cast out all the trillions of demons that you picked up elsewhere and get you back in your crazy right mind. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bipolar is running rapid in the church. Timothy had been a faithful servant to Paul since he had left home with the apostle more than a decade earlier. Since then, Timothy had ministered alongside to Paul for the duration of both the second and the third missionary journey. You know, back in the day, we had missionaries, we had mothers. Glory to God. I love that mother over there because nowadays, our mothers are wearing stilettos and our skirts are higher than ever. Glory to God. But we don't have the mothers in the church anymore. We don't have missionaries in the church anymore. Glory to God. Church has become a nightclub. Glory to God. The holies of holies are no longer in the church. The glory of God is no longer in the church. The presence of God is no longer in the church. Hallelujah. God is saying that the church smells stink like nostrils because we come up in the house of God and we do 
medicine. We don't reverence God like we used to. Glory to God. We don't have no problem cussing out the leader. We don't respect them. The Bible declares, honor your mother and your father that your days may be long upon the earth. If your leader is your spiritual parents, you gotta be careful how you talk to them. You better be careful how you present them. You better be careful how you address them. That's why a lot of us are controlled. Your days are short. You are sick in your body. You don't understand why you're sick. It's because you're disrespectful. You're disobedient to your leaders. Oh my. Help us. Hallelujah. I gotta preach my own service later. Hallelujah. We wonder. We wonder why yeah. we don't see the manifestation yeah. of His glory in the church. Mm -hmm. We wonder why we don't see the manifestation of His power. Yeah. You know, back in Captain Coleman days, huh? All she did is walk by you. She didn't have to touch you. Huh? All she did is walk by you. And the glory. Manifested in the house of God. Yes. Too much flesh on parade. Say it. Come on now. Here comes the little horse. Here comes the little horse. Too much flesh on parade. Glory to God. You be in your closet. You were supposed to gear yourself up before you came into the house of the Lord. We shouldn't spend 20 hours doing praise and worship. Just don't 
pride or all my pride. Uh, see, I ain't crazy. Uh, I ain't wait till the last minute uh, where everybody running all over top of each other like crabs uh, trying to buy a set. This girl uh, went and bought her stuff uh, last night. I know that's right. Preparing the church. Yeah, yeah. Bishop, I was at one, I was at BJ's, honey. BJ's. I ain't getting one bleach. I got the three in the bulk. The Famalusa, bigger than me. The Paiso, bigger than me. Go ahead. Amen. Y'all better hear what God is saying. Amen. See, last time they shut it down, we were all like crabs. Nobody paid no attention. And that's how it is. In the church, God sent warning. He done sent you a boat. He done sent you a car. He done sent you an airplane. And you still say, Lord, help me. What else he got to do? Come on now. Come on. Come on. With your crazy self. He said everything to rescue your crazy self. And we still don't get it. Now, I help y'all. He said he's going to shut it down. You don't know when he's going to shut it down. So you need to prepare. Hallelujah. The Bible says, be ready. I'm ready. We don't know no the day, no the hour. That the son of man is going to come and require of your crazy soul. And before I forget, Bishop, I won't be here next Sunday either. Hallelujah. I got to go check on my house and get my rent money. Hallelujah. Before the pandemic comes. I mean, it's already here, but you know what I'm saying. But I can't get out of here. I know that's right. Get your money, sister. Uh, God ain't told me to be stupid. So I won't be here Sunday. All right, precious one. But I'll be back. <laughs> Elder, they don't listen to me because they think I'm crazy. I am for Jesus. But I tell you this one thing. Half of them will have to end up coming to me to get the answer. Faithful, faithful. Faithful, address updating Timothy on the current state, hallelujah, of their circumstances and friends. Oh, glory to God, I gotta keep mind for my time. I don't know where we at, but anyway, so that the young pastor could carry on after Paul's departure. Paul understood that the ministry would only become more difficult for Timothy with the apostle impending death. Indeed, at some point after this letter from Paul, Timothy was in prison for his faith. And that's what God been trying to do for us in this pandemic. It's for your good, Jesus. For your faith. This pandemic didn't catch God off guard. It was to increase your faith. And 99% of the church failed. They failed. They failed. Because you know what the Lord said to me last night? If the church had it lined up what it was supposed to do, it could have shifted things. Come on. See, now you want to come on. That's good. If the church had it lined up with what God was really saying, it would have shifted. Do you not know we have the power to make it shift? That's why we're seeing another surge because we didn't do nothing but be on Zoom and eat chicken. <laughs> Come on. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> but if we had a fast and pray, why God told us why we were in our house instead of murmuring and complaining, we could have shifted the atmosphere. There's power in your prayer. Holy Ghost on the inside. Glory to God. The prayer of the righteous of their might. Had you prayed, it would have shifted. We have lost 99% of our young people, the church members, to the world. Church no more because they gotten too comfortable being at home 
on Zoom and Twitter and TikTok. Oh! Let me tell you, this sister is up on the game. Go ahead, mother. Yes, TikTok. I got it all on my phone, but it ain't nothing but a spit. Guess what? What they put on Instagram and Snapchat, they ain't putting on Facebook. Oh, you better say it. That's it. Sure enough, I see a lot on Snapchat Come on. and Instagram that I don't see on Facebook. Oh. The saints are in the club. Coronas, Long Island Shelters, or whatever the thing is. <laughs> Y'all know them drinks. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I do a lot of sneaking drive bys. I don't say nothing. I don't push like on nothing. I just watch them. y'all to delete me down, but anyway. Don't delete it, <laughs> Timothy was in prison for his faith. Hebrews 13, 23. Paul knew, but none of y'all ain't on my page. Hallelujah, let me tell y'all. Paul knew that Timothy's task of keeping the church within the grounds and the bounds of sound, 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 sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. While encouraging believers to live their life well for the sake of Christ would be an often thankfulness and difficult task through hardship, mm -hmm. hallelujah, would come Paul wanted Timothy to continue in these things he had learned. It is difficult to trust God when you got cancer. It is difficult to trust God when you have an aneurysm. But if God healed you before, what's wrong with him now? The Bible declares he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of his peace is upon us. And by his stripes, you are divinely healed. What you speak out your mouth is what you get. You got to declare the healing in your body. You got to declare the power in your body. If you notice, most of us are only going through the symptoms. The symptoms. Not the actual sickness, the symptoms. Because he healed you when he was nailed on the cross. So all you going through is the symptoms. But the enemy plays with our mind. The Bible said that we ought to renew our mind every day. Glory to God. So all you really feeling in your body is the symptoms. Because when my stomach was hurting, Elder, I would declare that the enemy, devil, you have no power. You have no victory. Glory to God. I am the righteousness of God. I am joy heirs with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, glory to God. I am above and not beneath. I am the head and not the tail. Glory to God. You got to declare uh, God's word. Uh, you got to declare uh, God's power. You got to decree and declare uh, glory to God. What God has called. See the problem is is the devil know who you are. You don't know who you are. Oh, That's the problem. You got to know who you are. Hallelujah. You got to know who you are. Because he already know. You the problem. Oh, oh. You the problem. You got to know who you are. That's it. If I am the righteousness of God, and he said I'm above and I'm not beneath. I am the head and I'm not the tail. I am the lender and I'm not the borrower. Right. Poverty shouldn't hover over your life. Oh. His word is yea and amen. amen. Yes. We don't believe in his word. Yes. Since the pandemic, we're falling out. We're rolling over. 
We're passed out. Hallelujah. We're watching too much news that's getting in our spirit instead of getting into the word of God, instead of getting into worship and believing what God said about you and knowing that, that God has brought you this far. He's still got your crazy self here. He's going to keep on keeping you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. He got you here for a purpose. Your work is not finished. So therefore, he's not going to allow you to go anywhere until you have perfectly done all that he has commanded you to do. Now you can do that either submissively or you can do that screaming and fighting and shouting and falling all over the floor. But however way it go, you either going to serve him in life or in death. Pick your choice. Revelation picked it up this way. Choosy, I'm just, I'm sorry, just so picked it up this way. Choosy this day. What God you're going to serve. Either you're going to serve God or you're going to serve Mary. man. Man, Revelation says, I prefer for you to either be hot or cold. There is no in between. I will speak you out of my mouth. You're not even ready. So I'm going to speak you out. Hallelujah. Because you are stinking in my nostrils. Right. It's just that simple. Plain and simple. There ain't no warm in here. No. Make a choice. That's the problem. We are straddling the fence. If I don't feel God, I ain't coming. The church, oh, it ain't gonna go on without you, me. You are lying. The truth ain't in you. Cause God will raise somebody else. Hallelujah. And leave your crazy stuff right over there. That's right. Let me tell you something. Bishop knows. We go in every Sunday and we're going in there tonight. And I'm going to preach Jesus and him crucified. Like it's a packed church like this. And there may not be nobody in no chairs. But I see the angels of the Lord sitting the Bible of the class. If I be faithful over a few things, he'll make my village over much. I'm being tested. So therefore, I'm going to preach Jesus and him crucified. Whether it's anybody in the building or not, I don't care and I'm not discouraged. You got the church online. They all watch me. Yesterday I did my Bible study. They played the hide and seek game. They wouldn't get on where I could see them. Glory to God. So they play hide and seek. Glory to God. See, I'm hip on the hide and seek game too. So I saw them pop on and pop off. But when it was all said and done, it was 26 people watching what was coming out of my mouth. I don't give a hooty to that. As long as you hear what thus said, my Lord. I don't care if you jump on, jump on, go up. Go down and don't matter to me. Glory to God. You, I don't care as long as you hear what the word of God said. When you know who you are in God, you're not intimidated by nothing. I saw them boogers. 